started with the movie Rebel Without a Cause, which I already had connections to because I played James Dean. You know, read all of his biographies. I knew a lot about his life and this film. And then this other book came out about the making of Rebel Without a Cause. And I just thought, you know, there's something still here. I'd like to do something with this. And when I first started, I was thinking it would just be a regular feature film about the making of Rebel Without a Cause. After thinking about it, I thought it'd be a little too precious, a little too conventional. And that the original movie was cutting edge. And so I wanted to do something that would be cutting edge today. I got a phone call probably a, a little over a year ago from uh, James. He had this idea of reinterpreting uh, Rebel Without a Cause. I guess the film meant a, a lot to him and this kind of mythology surrounding the movie and James Dean and all that stuff. Someone called and asked if I would be interested in doing something that James wanted to do. It hit close to home with me and I said yes immediately. He told me it was about you know, the myth of Rebel Without a Cause, all the inner goings on that happened around the production of the film. I'd met James before, and uh, it, I think he'd been to the studio. He said that he wanted to make this collaboration involving uh, the rumors around Nick Ray and Natalie Wood and the bungalow. And when James and I and Paul sat down and started talking about the piece, um, it was really about how Nick Ray, the director, tied his whole world into each one of those little vignettes of his story of Rebel Without a Cause. Nicholas Ray was living at the Chateau Marmont in Bangalore too when they made that movie. That's where all the rehearsals took place. And everybody from Dennis Hopper to this book said that he was having an affair with Natalie Wood, so I'm, I assume that's where the affair happened and all of that stuff. And then when we started on Paul's section, we met many times over at the real chateau and the McCarthy's quickly started discussing the idea of remaking their own bungalow in their studio. And we decided to build two sets. One was the bungalow and one was the staircase set from the film and kind of viewed sets as a void you know, a kind of small universe in which you're sort of trapped. It was about making this external object inside this big space and manipulate how Hollywood makes this fake world. And then that kind of just led to the idea of the whole backdrop being the chateau. But I think one of the great things about putting it in this interior space, you can feel the pieces kind of working off of each other now. So if you stand over there and look this way, you can see them becoming a collage already. And they really are working together in a way.